The value and price of art is booming in Canada, but if you're struggling with knowing what your art is worth and understanding the value of pieces you're looking to buy, two Canadian art specialists have a list of 10 commandments you must know. And joining me now are Canadian art specialist Rob Kelly Abbott and Lydia Abbott. Is that right? Yeah, okay, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Our pleasure. Now, you have these incredible pieces that you brought. We're gonna talk about the value and how you know the value in just a moment. But first of all, let's just talk about the WAG. You were called in to do some price points and also help with a sale of a few pieces. Tell me about that. So we're assisting, we're delighted and privileged to be assisting with the sale of um, a suite of prints by Andy Warhol. Um, okay. they're, they're prints of um, Queen Elizabeth II from 1985. It's quite a rare collection. It's four Four, four prints together. Um, they're valued at between seven hundred and nine hundred thousand dollars. They're and they're generating a lot of excitement already. Really? And those are going. Um, the the uh, Winnipeg Art Gallery is selling those um, in order to enrich their endowment fund right. to acquire uh, acquire more art in the future. How do you how do you find that value? How do you get to that price tag? Well, you're looking at one of the commandments is artist. So you're looking at the artist Andy Warhol, and yep. then you're looking at the subject and what works by uh, what Queen works have sold for in the past. Uh, single works have sold for one fifty to two hundred. Seven have sold for over a million, and so you're using those that data to come up with the auction estimate of seven hundred to nine hundred thousand dollars. So there's a possibility those four pieces will be sold to one buyer. Oh, example. they and they will be. They're sold as a set. As a yet, set, and okay. which is quite rare. Okay, actually. so let's talk about some of these pieces that you brought in because. Could you find something like this just randomly out there or this is just some examples of some of the work that you deal with? So in any given auction we can have up to 100, 100 lots, um, okay. all from individual collectors usually. Yeah. Um, for example, we have this work here in the center um, known uh, by famous artist Tom Thompson who passed away tragically in 1917 and this actually dates to fall of 1916, so just the year before he passed. Um, so it's pretty rare work. Okay. Obviously the artist is a really well known yes. artist. He was known to work um, with members that would become the Group of Seven. Um, so this painting is valued at $1 million to $1.5 million. Wow. Um, we have sold um, a work from the same period just last fall in our live auction at Kelly Abbott uh, for $2.2 .2 million. So really, when something is rare and by a really celebrated artist, you know, the bidding may start around a million dollars, but until the last bid, it, it, the, the sky's the limit. Right. Say that. Yeah. Really a beautiful piece. Yeah. Talk about the other pieces that we see here. So this work here is actually by Lauren Harris, a member of the Group of Seven. Um, um, so there's actually size and medium are also very important in valuing uh, valuing our artwork. This is a small work on paper by Lauren Harris. So it's valued at eighteen to twenty-two thousand dollars. However, a canvas, so a large format painting of this same subject, yeah. sold at auction for about five million dollars years ago. And in fact, our June eighth live auction includes wow. a canvas by Harris valued at two to three million. That's so the size wild. and the medium also plays a great again a great beautiful, difference. stunning piece. Mm -hmm. Do you have one more piece you want to tell us about, and then we're going to talk about the nitty gritty of how to get in, into the art market. Sure. So here we actually actually have um, an artwork by an incredibly famous artist, David Bowie, who obviously yep. was talented in many ways and yes, an artist indeed. in many disciplines. And this is actually a portrait he did of his friend and other artist, Trent Reznor from Nine Inch Nails. So um, cool. pretty rare find. Yeah. Uh, this is valued at 35000 to 55000 um, We sold the record of a painting that was actually found by David Bowie. Um, it was found in a landfill in Northern oh Ontario. So someone found that, paid about $5 for it, came to us. Um, it was obviously authenticated and signed by the artist as well. We're almost out of time. Quickly, yeah. how do you get into the market? How do you know that your piece is worth something quite valuable? Well, you come to us and we provide an auction estimate where we do that complimentary to anyone that contacts us by email, info at cowleyabbott.ca, um, or you can give us a call and come by the gallery. But we travel across Canada looking at artworks, and um, if it's something we can sell, we have online auctions and live auctions. We actually have a live auction on June 8th okay. um, at the Global Mail Centre that you can participate sort of internationally. You can, you can bid online, you can bid on the phone, you can bid in person. So, so. get an opinion before you buy, right? That's right, always. Okay. We're there. Okay, well yeah. thank you to both of you. Beautiful pieces and thank you for bringing such valuable pieces into our newsroom. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you.